Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to use the cut command in Linux Unix environment. The cut command in Linux Unix is used to select sections of text from each line of files. You can use the cut command to select fields or columns from a line by specifying a delimiter or you can select a portion of text by specifying the range or characters. Basically, the cut command slices the line and extracts the text. So if you want to select column of characters, so for example, to extract only a desired column, let's first cat the imply CSV file. So in this case, if you want to extract only a desired column from file, you can use the C option. To achieve this, we can use the command that will display first character from each line of a file. Here we can see the original result set and then the result set using the cut command where it shows only the first character from each line of a file. We can also display the range of characters from a file by specifying start and end position delimited with a hyphen. For example, if you want to extract first to five characters of each line from a text file, in, which is imply CSV in this case, so we can use the command that C one through five line CSV. Now we can see it shows us the characters one to five from each line of the text file. We can also either pass the start position or end position to cut command with C option. For example, if you specify only the start position before the hyphen and leave it blank after the hyphen, then it will display from fifth character to end of each line from imply CSV file. So if you just add hyphen at the end, it will display fifth character to end of each line from imply CSV file. So here in the output, we can see it displays from fifth character to the end of the each line from the required file. Now let's see how to select a specific field from a file. So instead of selecting specific number of characters, if you want to extract a whole field, you can combine option D and F. The D specifies what is the field diameter that is used in the input file and the option F specifies which field you want to extract. So for example, if you want to display only first field of each lines from imply CSP file using the field diameter, which is comma in this case. So you can use the command, put the comma as delimiter, field is one. Here it shows us only the first field from each line of the file. Now to display only first two columns or specific columns, we can use the command, just add a range of fields here. So it will show field one and two. Now if you wanna add another field here, just add that after the comma, five. Now we can see we have imply number, imply name and date of hire. So three fields in this case. And if you want to return only the first 10 correct 10 records, just add a redirection symbol head minus 10. Here you can see you have only first 10 records in this result set that you can achieve using the head option. Now let's use the same command with a different example using the grip command. So in this example, we want to extract more than one field from a file or standard out. So here's the example. Let's first use the grep command. From this result set, we want to display only fields one and six. So we can achieve this by adding the cut command at the end, add the pipe symbol, use the cut command. So in this case, the delimiter is a colon. So we will add colon here, fields one comma six. Okay, now we can see it shows us only the fields one and six. We can use the same command to display the range of fields. So for example, we can display the fields one through three, six, and seven. So in this case, it shows us only the specific fields. 
now if you want to select all the fields except a specific field we can use the complement option let's clear this so for example if you want to display all the fields from etc password file except the field 7 use the command this is the result set let's add the cut command delimiter colon now we will add complement option and indicate that field 7 should not be displayed so all fields except field 7 should be displayed in the result set now see the difference the last field is not appearing in the result set now sometimes if you want to display a different delimiter in the output result so how do we achieve that so by default the output delimiter is the same as input delimiter so for example you can see the input delimiter is a column and the output delimiter is the same column that is by default so if you want to change the output delimiter we can use the option output delimiter so for example the input delimiter is column in this case but the output parameter we want to pass it on as a hash or a comma so let's see how we can do that let's use the previous command let's add an option output we want to use the number sign as a delimiter in this case now see the difference the delimiter has been changed from column to a number sign now let's use a comma as a delimiter okay we can see the delimiter has been changed with a comma we can also use this command like in this way remove the complement option and put a range of fields here 1 through 7 now if there is a requirement to change the output delimiter to a new line so each and every field of the cut command output is displayed in a separate line so we can still use the output delimiter to achieve this but the value would be a dollar sign and slash n which indicates that we should add the new line as the output delimiter let's see how we can do that add a dollar sign single quote slash n and close the quote let's see so we can see every field in the file is showing as a separate line now let's see how do we combine cut and grep commands and then remove the duplicates and also sort the result set so you can use the cut and grip command with sort and unique commands to find and remove duplicate entries in a file. So for example, we have this file. You can see here the third column, which is the title has some duplicates in it. So let's see how we can remove the duplicates in the result set. Add the cut command, delimiter would be a comma, the field number, Sort the result set in order. Use the unique option and then see. Let's see the result. We can see it shows us we have two LS entries, four clerk entries, three managers, and so on. Let's sort the result set in reverse order. So use NR option with the sort. See the difference the result got sorted out in reverse order remove the r and see the difference that's all about the cut command thanks for watching this video